Ruby. Ruby, stop ignoring me. Why are you ignoring me after all the money that I have given you to show you that I am only loyal to you and how much I love and appreciate and adore you? How dare you not answer me? I see you actively posting on your Instagram story and you have not answered me once. You are making me very mad. I have treated you like a princess and you won't even take the time to respond to me. I will not tolerate this. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ, bro. What's good y'all, your boy Ross, back at again with another video. So, you guys remember when I uh, talked about the uh, guy that sent $60,000 to Ruby Rose in one month on her OnlyFans? And you, you would think that would just be the most that he would possibly do, the most down bad he would possibly uh, be. Well, that's not the case. In fact, it got even worse he decided to get a tattoo of her to show his dedication and love for ruby rose and it's just one of the most cringe things to see is cringe giving that much money to someone that once again will not fuck you but to proceed to get a tattoo of that said person is really wild and apparently she actually ended up giving, you know, her number to him. But it didn't really matter because she ends up showing the text messages that she got from him. And she ends up showing the pictures that he sent to her of her of him getting a tattoo of her face on his body. It's just it's I, I can't even put into words how down bad he truly is. Just when you thought. You couldn't get any more down bad. He decides, you know what? 2023 is about to end. I'm going to be the most down bad individual. The most down bad man of 2023. So we're going to go through this. I'm not going to read all the text messages because she screen recorded it. And it's just, it's just literally a one-sided conversation. Let me, let me show y'all what's going on here. So y'all can see the BS. This is her Twitter. It is literally a one-sided conversation. Look at the name. She saved his info, like saved his name in her phone. Look at it. Brandon, weird OF fan. It's GG's already. That's what she saved his number as. Brandon, weird OF fan. And as you can see, it's literally a one-sided conversation. What you doing tonight? Why aren't you answering me? I thought we had a genuine connection. My boy, you sent her $60,000 in one month. What genuine connection did you think you was going to get? Ruby, why aren't you answering me? I have invested so much money into our relationship. What relationship? I'm trying to figure out where is the relationship. You just gave her money. That is it. That is as far as your relationship goes. I am in love with you. Why won't you love me? And then uh, I'm not even going to go into this. I'm just going to play the video. We're going to stop. Look, look at this. Fellas, if you're sending a 10 page essay to a chick and she wasn't responding to the other messages, there's a good chance she's not going to respond to the 10 page message. I'm not even reading that. Y'all can read that if you want to. It's just that's just too much. Just too much to even care to read. Look at this. Please tell me you are just very busy and not seeing my text right now, princess. This is now, it's, it's, it's borderline obsessive. Not even borderline. It really is obsessive. This is just ridiculous. Like, what are we doing here? Why is this guy texting this woman this much? But once again, hey, he feels like he's entitled because he's given that much money. Please, I cherished every second I was with you. I adore you. You are the reason I wake up every morning. Oh my God. I have no purpose without you. You are my rock. Oh my, this is, 
Oh my God. Now you know he's 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 feeling a little bit annoyed because these next few messages are all in caps. So anytime you're texting in caps, that, that means like you're yelling, like you're upset. Ruby, Ruby, stop ignoring me. Why are you ignoring me after all the money that I have given you to show you that I am only loyal to you and how much I love and appreciate and adore you? How dare you not answer me? I see you actively posting on your Instagram story and you have not answered me once. You are making me very mad. I have treated you like a princess and you won't even take the time to respond to me. I will not tolerate this. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ, bro. Oh, and then he continues, he calms down and then he continues saying some more just nonsense gibberish because once again, she's not even responding, bro. Then he hits the baby, please handsome me, queen, please don't leave me. Sounds like a R&B song from the 2000s. I adore you, Ruby. You are all I need to be whole in this life. I will never leave you or even look in the same direction of another girl. I want to marry you. Just, just, just sick. And then, oh, oh no, bro. He is, he, ah, uh, he just keeps spiraling out. I even spent $30,000 more on you since we met because I thought we had something genuine and real. So on top of him spending 60000 he spent an extra $30,000 more. Oh my God, bro. Just to still not get a response is just sick, bro. I will empty my bank account just to be with you. I will travel across the country just to randomly run into you again. You didn't randomly run into her the first time, but that's okay. I will never be over you. You are the love. I'm guessing love. Uh... You are the you are the love of my life. And it's just, it's just, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I will send you 10 Bitcoin right now if you answer me. What that is worth almost $400,000. All you have to do is respond to me with one word, Ruby, please. I need your attention. I need to make sure that my kitten is safe and he shows she's willing to send her an extra $400,000 just to get a response, bro. What the fuck is this? Bitcoin is one of those investments I was talking with you about on OnlyFans, when you were asking me what uh, what I did to make so much money, I promise you it will be the best investment of our life. All you have to do is just react to one of my messages of mine. Please, I beg you. I cannot think to live without you. This is this is this is sick, bro. And then he goes even more off the rails this is him sending the pictures of him getting the tattoo of her face on him look at this i have a surprise to show you my commitment i know you will love it it's almost done i can't wait to show you and he proceeds to get a tattoo of her face on his body bro look at this bro Oh my surprise. What do you think? It took almost three hours.
and it looks like he's wearing the same shirt that he had when he met her. Unless he got multiple of the same shirts. What is this? So that's the messages. And then obviously we already seen the picture, but this is the picture. Right here. Great work, by the way, whoever did the tattoo, but Jesus Christ, this is just awfully cringe. And look at the tweet. Tap my face on you so I know it's real. All that what he said meant absolutely nothing. She did not even respond. And he is only left with a tweet that said, tap my face on you so I know it's real. She's eating it up. Literally, it's a joke. It is, she does not take anything that what he said seriously, other than the money stuff. And even then, she didn't even respond. He gave her money just, just to, because he felt the love was real, and then was willing to give her an extra $400,000 $400, worth in Bitcoin. I, that's just sick. My man needs some type of psychiatric help because that's not normal, bro. He is really obsessive. It's really weird, very creepy, and just super ultra down bad. I think for 2023, he is the he is the biggest simp, the biggest ultra down bad guy of 2023. There's no bigger simp than Brandon here. Oh my god. Oh, bro, bro, that's just, that's just not it, bro. I, that, oh my God. As soon as I saw this, I knew I had to make a video on this because this is just sick. Truly cringe. Some of the worst cringe I've seen all year. This is awful. I don't know if he has friends. And if he does have friends, they're not his friends. Because if you have real friends, they should tell you, hey, this ain't it. And maybe he did have friends and they did tell him, hey, what are you doing? Is, is This is too much. And he just don't listen. That could be a case too. But this is, this is just bad, bro. This is awful. This is awful. And this type of behavior, it, it, it it's like, it attracts other individuals like him to think it's cool to do stuff like this. This is not cool, guys. She's not responding. She's not texting you back. She's not calling you back. She's leaving you on red. You keep giving her money. You keep sending her stuff. Stop it. Just get some help. Jesus Christ. Comment down below. Let me know. Is there any hope for this guy? Is he just too far gone is he too far into the shadow realm to be saved let me know because me personally i i think without any psychiatric help he's done he is he's done ruby rose owns his soul and she hadn't even gave this nigga a kiss i that's wild but i appreciate all love and support round to 150k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all on the next one peace good god